Sonic and Tails enter Never Lake, tired, and realize that they've been shot with a tranquilized dart. As Sonic and Tails begin to hallucinate, they suddenly fall to the ground. As they're trying to ultimately get up, their eyes begin to shut, but they don't know they see in the background someone walking over to them before their eyes shut. On a rainy sky night on Prison Island, we would see a bunch of GUN officers dressed in armour escorting Tom down the hallway as he was being arrested, while Maddie is going to be transported back to Green Hills. Tom is placed in a interrogation room as Captain Randall enters. He then starts to ask Tom where is Shadow, offering him up certain other kind of kinks to it. He states that if he can tell him where Shadow is, then perhaps maybe they can think about reducing his sentence, perhaps. Tom argues what sentence? What did he do wrong? Literally all he was was taking his family out. That was it. There's no crime what he did whatsoever. However, Randall would bark back, stating that he doesn't even know what law is. Do small town sheriffs know big stuff messing with him completely? Tom would get annoyed with him, however as Randall would try to get inside his head, he would then ultimately state that he has no idea what Project Shadow is, and how dangerous it is. He's one of the most wanted men now in all of America. Congratulations. Tom would ultimately get really annoyed, however, Walters would step in, telling Randall to go check on the guards, and then he talks to Tom. When Walters offers Tom a deal, he says if he can give up Shadow's location, he will release Knuckles. Tom tells him that he doesn't know where he is. Walters, who's tired of Tom's attitude, tells the guards to put him in a cell. On the way, on the way, Tom ends up seeing Knuckles in a cage in a lab with scientists. And then he also sees a mysterious locked room with a bunch of GUN guards. And as Tom is basically sitting down in in his cell, he notices a bunch of writing on the wall. A bunch of math symbols. Also, Stone is there watching over Tom. Almost in a way. Meanwhile, Walters talks with Rockwell about the Master Emerald, and will ask, and Rockwell asks, will he come for it, as it's the last part that Shadow needs, but Walters states that they have the upper hand, they don't know, the thing is, Shadow doesn't know where it is, and it's a good thing that Robotnik doesn't know where it is, or else that would spell bad news. Sonic and Tails wake up in a house, which has a lot of sunflowers and roses in it. Sonic would tell Tails that it's time to find that person Knuckles spoke about. As Sonic gets ready to dash away, he bumps into a person, that being Amy Rose. Sonic would help Amy up and apologise about running into her, to which she would say, it's okay. Sonic would introduce himself, and Tails would do the same thing. Surprised, Sonic is honestly surprised that he's seen another hedgehog after seeing Shadow. Amy would, well, state that she's been expecting Sonic and Tails, as she shows a tarot card with their face on it. She would mention how she's been looking forward to this moment all along, and that she's actually been using her cards to see and to predict where Sonic would go. She saw everything from the events of the first film 
to the second and till now. And she mentioned how she meant how she saw Longclaw as a child. Tails would then interrupt, telling them that they have to get back to Earth for Tom and Maddie and Knuckles. Sonic would tell him he's right, but they should go back to Green Hills first, as maybe Maddie got sent back and they can think of a plan. Sonic notices that Amy is looking a little down, before asking if she wants to join him. She gladly accepts as she pulls out a bag of rings and hands one to Sonic, who throws it to one to Green Hills, Montana, the, as the three enter. Meanwhile, Robotnik is learning so much about his grandfather, while his badniks are cleaning out and moving some stuff around into his lab through a ring portal. Shadow would tell him to be careful as this stuff is prototypes, and some of it is very dangerous. Robotnik says that it belongs to him now. Gerald would immediately state it, was immediately come in, and would mention how Robotnik has done very well, and that he his accomplishments are up there with the best. He's made the Robotnik name proud. And Robotnik is happy. However, he then asks, what about him? And Gerald tells him that, well, he's had a massive long career, but he'll get to the best bits. But first, he has to start with one of the tragic bits. Following the Ark being taken down, Gerald still worked for the government. And he was able to not only get the Ark off of the government's network, by hacking into their, well, recent internet, but he also managed to relocate Shadow into a secret facility. Robotnik then asks, how is he alive, exactly? To which, Gerald states that he drew some of Shadow's blood and injected it into himself. It slowed down Gerald's age acceleration to quite a few years, so he basically lived through a lot. However, Gerald would then turn on the light, showing a bunch of newspapers and different things, including posts and all sorts about, well, his, his grandson. <clears throat> Gerald would basically say that he's been following him for quite some time. And he's been proud of him. And all the events going on in the Sonic films. Such as the events of the baseball encounter. Gerald tracked that signal. And knew that something was up in that town. And of course when Dr. Robotnik attacked Green Hills. With that massive robot in the second film. But of course. He then mentions over there. His shrine dedicated to Maria. He mentions how on the last day on the Ark, he lost everything. Maria was his only sunshine, the only thing that actually was his motivation, to actually helping. And yet they took her away from him. And thus, he plans to set things right. Robotnik would then mention that that this new corporation, Gun, took away something of his as well. They took away all of his technology and labs, to which Gerald immediately is at, immediately in shock. He then says that they must do something about it, and Robotnik states he has a plan, but he needs help executing it. Gerald states that, well, he might be able to help him with that. Just then, Agent Stone pops up on one of Robotnik's holograms. He then states that the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald has, have been located inside Prison Island. To which immediately, Gerald is surprised that Robotnik's got a spy on the inside. Robotnik and Gerald decide to ultimately form a somewhat partnership, and the three of them, along with Shadow, 
decide to raid or plan a heist to steal all of the emeralds. And the deal is, if Gerald, if Robotnik and Shadow can get the emeralds, then they can use them to power the Space Colony Arc. Sonic, Tails and Amy enter on through into Green Hills. They notice that the town is being overlooked by a ton of GUN officers who arrived in tanks, cars and there's a massive helicopter just standing there. As they begin to sneak around throughout the town, they immediately see searchlights. It seems that the town is under lockdown as no citizen can get in or out. Just then they hear a voice telling them to come this way. They manage to head on forward and they manage to end up with Wade. Wade explains to them what on earth's going on as he shows a news article stating that Tom has been arrested for terrorist actions and a, as well as a mysterious alien that was seen in San Francisco was found and is now under GUN's custody. Amy notices Knuckles is on the news and is surprised. Sonic assures her that he's okay, he's very strong and that he's been in worse situations. The three of them then try to think of a plan on how they're going to ultimately get Knuckles and Tom out of Prison Island. Tails suggests that they break in, but Sonic thinks that this is a bad idea, as not only will they draw more attention to GUN, but they could possibly get captured. Sonic would then turn his attentions to Wade and asks him, where is Maddie? To which immediately Wade would say that she's under house arrest, a uh, house. So Sonic, Tails and Amy all head over there. While secretly avoiding all of the security outside, they sneak in through the windows and meet Maddie. He is over the moon that Sonic and Tails are alive. Before meeting Amy, she ultimately asks who is she? To which Amy introduces herself and Maddie warms up to her. But she then would ask where is obviously did she did he did they find Tom and Knuckles? To which Sonic says that they haven't. And that, well, they're trying to. It's been quite hard because, well, they know that where Tom is. But the thing is, it's in a heavily government facility. And that they don't have any more warp rings. Meanwhile, Walters will be speaking to his higher-ups, mostly Rockwell and Captain Randall. And he would discuss on how... Project Shadow managed to not only defeat some of their best agents, but has been going on a rampage ever since. And he needs ideas in order to take him down. Rockwell suggests the idea of them using, well, perhaps nuclear missiles. But Walter tell, Walters tells her that that's exactly a little too extreme, considering that they're going to try and nuke an entire city to stop Shadow. Plus Shadow is a lot more quicker to avoid a nuke. Randall suggests perhaps if they could lure Shadow into a trap by placing the Master Emerald. Walters does consider it but he perhaps comes to another idea. Since Project Shadow is far beyond anything they've ever handled, they need someone who could easily beat Shadow. Someone who could fight them. Mono on mono. Hedgehog. A hedgehog. To which immediately Rockwell and Randall look at each other before looking back, asking Walters that if he's serious about this. To which Walters responds, Yeah, I'm pretty dead serious. We need Team Sonic's immediate assistance.
They're the only ones who can stop Shadow. Like a green hills, a helicopter lands down below outside of Tom and Maddie's garden. Sonic, Tails, and Amy and Maddie all look on in confusion as gun troopers begin walking out, surrounding the area. They then immediately enter on inside and mostly bring out Sonic, Tails, and Amy, with Maddie coming along with them. Randall appears out of the helicopter, stating he only needs the hedgehog, the fox, and that's it. To which immediately Sonic and Tails would ask, what is this all about? To which Randall would respond with that the boss wants to see you. Sonic is a bit curious about all of this, but he goes along with it, along with Tails, so that they can ultimately try and find Knuckles and Tom. The helicopter then um, then takes off and flies towards, well, Prison Island. As soon as the helicopter lands on Prison Island, Sonic, Tails and Amy are taken to see Commander Walters who immediately Sonic gets on guard, as well as Tails, who pulls out some of his weapons. Amy summons her Pico Hammer because she notices that Sonic and Tails are on guard. Walters tells them to calm down and that he's not here to hurt them, as he pulls out his taser and his tranquilizer and slides them across. He tells them that they're both on the same side, that they have encountered a creature called Shadow the Hedgehog. And he's here willing to make an offer that Sonic can't refuse. Sonic would ask what kind of offer could he give him and his friends. Walters states that if Sonic and his friends can defeat, can bring Shadow and Robotnik to justice, then then the president is willing to give Sonic and his friends something in return. Sonic is quite thrilled about this idea. Walters asks him and his friends what do they actually want, to which Sonic states he wants to be able to travel the world without being watched by GUN. Walters states that that's a bit tricky to figure out, but he'll try to figure something. Tails would then state that he would like his own workshop, where he can create any gadget that he wants, as well as for missions. Amy would also agree with Sonic, as that's really what she would want. Walters states, all right, but he, before he shakes out, before he pulls out his hand to shake Sonic's to initiate the deal, Sonic would immediately pull back, asking before that they unify this deal, he wants to see Tom Wachowski and of course Knuckles, to mean that he means business. So Walters calls Commander Rockwell and she lets out Tom. Sonic and Tom reunite and he's very glad and happy to see Sonic's alive. However, he begins to notice that there's another hedgehog and is quite surprised. But yeah, he's all fine. However, Randall busts into the room telling them that the red echidna has escaped, to which Sonic and Tails dash on forward to see what's going on in the lab, and they see Knuckles is battling the scientists. Sonic would calm Knuckles down, telling him to take it easy as Walters has come up with a new deal for them. Immediately Knuckles steps down and asks what exactly is this deal. He then immediately grabs his hat by the way. Walters would get Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Amy back to the conference room and would sit down telling them, well, what's actually going on. He states that there's been a high level security breach and that, well, Shadow is among anything that they've ever faced before and they need their help. He then would immediately take them to the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds 
Sonic would ask, how on earth did they get the, uh, the Chaos Emeralds? To which Walters would reply, after the events of the battle at Green Hills, they scattered across the world and we were able to get them. Walters would end up showing Sonic and Tails a file on Shadow, as he would show them all around. Sonic would notice a picture of a girl with Shadow. Immediately he asks who is that, to which Walters would reply stating, that is Maria Kintobor. She is, well, she was the girl from the case that's on the newspaper that Sonic recognises. With Walters' deal now in order, the group begin to think of a plan on how to bring Shadow and Robotnik to justice. They all think. Sonic mentions the idea of using the Master Emerald as a, as well, bait for a trap. But Knuckles is not exactly happy with this decision, as he claims that if Robotnik got his hands on the Emeralds, Emerald again, he could do something even worse with it. But Sonic tells him that Robotnik may have got a Badnik army, but he does not. But they also have an army, and Tails actually backs Sonic up on this, stating that with the GUN officers on their side, they can be a distraction for the Badniks, while Sonic and Tails would battle Shadow and Robotnik above, and Knuckles and Amy, as well as Tom, would defend the Master Emeralds and the Chaos Emeralds down below. While this idea Walters is all on board for, he states that they won't be enough to stop the Badniks. But Randall and Rockwell assure them that they'll train their military forces to be even stronger. Immediately, Walters would turn to Tom and would state for him to put on a suit, as he tells Randall to hand him a GUN uniform, and Tom complies. would see the GUN guards training in a montage for them getting ready for the great fight that they have on the island. Meanwhile, Robotnik, Gerald and Shadow are going over the plan. Robotnik says that once he and Shadow, once he's on the island, Stone will cut the power, which would cause the cannons that take out most of the Badniks to be shut down. Then, him and his Badniks can attack all the other GUN guards, while clashing with the Hedgehog and his friends along the way. Then, while everyone's distracted, Shadow will dash on through and will obtain the Master Emerald and, the, and will dash away. Gerald is all for this idea, but then he asks, and then what will happen? To which Robotnik states that after that Robotnik shows this warp ring and then he toss and then he basically says that after when they have the Master Emerald and Chaos Emeralds they will jump through a ring portal and well escape the island but they'll leave a special surprise for the others. We would then cut to Prison Island as it's all quiet, all mysterious. The guards are all on watch out, keeping an eye on every corner of the island. Tom is with Sonic and Tails as it's raining and is keeping an eye on them and making sure everything's all good. However, a giant crab mech appears out of the ground and stomping through the debris, destroying everything in its path. The GUN soldiers begin to fire and destroy everything in its way, but the crab is immune to all the bullets and is destroying everything. However, it stops and the front bit of it opens, with none other than Dr. Robotnik walking out. Robotnik comments on how Sonic managed to escape jail very easily, to which immediately Sonic states that Eggman's not welcome here, that he should leave now. Tails states that, of course, that he's got nowhere else to run. Meanwhile, 
Knuckles and Amy are keeping a guard on the Master Emerald and making sure everything's all fine. Robotnik states that, well, that he's got a, another plan up his scheme, to which Walters is wondering what's going on. Robotnik then presses a button and suddenly all the cannons turn off and the power is cut to the entire island, including security cameras. Rockwell informs Walters about the situation as everything goes down on lockdown. Randall then orders the troops to start firing at Robotnik. However, before he can, some of Gerald's badniks appear and they begin to fight the GUN troopers as a battle ensues with buzz bombers, motobugs, and crab meats and the egg drones all firing down below on the island, destroying everything in sight, battling all the GUN troopers, fighting it out. Robotnik, however, gets shot by a bullet. However, it's revealed to be a fake Robotnik, a hologram, as Robotnik appears on the other side of the island in a massive crab mech piloting his Eggmobile, as he begins crashing through, destroying everything in sight, as the gun troopers are quickly annihilated. Tails fires in and to try and stop Robotnik, but he gets chased out by Robotnik. Luckily, Sonic arrives and the two of them clash with Robotnik, destroying some of his Batniks and battling his Crab Mech, which has missiles and lasers equipped to it making it a very tough vehicle to get around. Meanwhile, with Knuckles and Amy, they're keeping guard, stopping some of the badniks from entering into the, into the main area with the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds. Knuckles would look from each side, noticing that badniks are crawling in, as he summons the Flames of Disaster to bash in most of them, buying them some time. Amy slams a hammer down and stops them. Tom is looking around, but but then he sees more of them coming and, well, Walters orders his men to stop the badniks. They all continue to fire at them. However, Sonic and Tails are have no luck with fighting Robotnik, but they manage to destroy the, cr the crab. But Sonic suddenly hears a noise a mysterious noise that's coming from the waters, dashing towards them. Sonic turns around as Shadow is dashing towards him and pins him against the wall, kicking him to the side as he dashes on in through the gun base, annihilating all the guards that stand in his way, doing everything he can to stop them, destroying them, battling them out, punching them to the side, kicking, slamming them, and using all of his moves. He grabs one guard and punches them across the face and slams them to the ground. He then kicks one of them in the face, which, by the way, that one is Tom. Tom is left defenseless and screams out for Sonic's name as he can't seem to do anything because there's a ton of gun guards on top of him. Shadow and Media look at Tom with anger and hatred. Just as he's about to, he annihilates Tom's face and punches the glove and would attempt to try and get the Chaos Emeralds, only to be caught off guard by Knuckles, who punches him into a wall. Shadow would get up and would ultimately be in angered. And thus, Knuckles and Shadow would fight. As Shadow would gain the upper hand, tossing Knuckles aside, even flipping him over and chucking him into Tom, Shadow would hold nothing back as he would walk towards the Emeralds, only to see Amy standing in front, guarding the Emeralds, preparing to stop Shadow. Shadow would look at Amy with surprise, almost as if he's ready to attack. But Shadow quickly avoids her and Instead of actually attacking her, he simply just pushes her to the ground, and he grabs the emeralds. Randall comes in and fires off a shadow, drops the other emeralds on the floor, and only grabs the master emerald, making a dash for it. Robotnik, in the meanwhile, continues to fight off 
Tails and Sonic even summoning more missiles and other badniks to destroy all sorts, even upgrading his suit into a battle armour. However, Sonic notices Shadow escaping with the Master Emerald. Tails tells Sonic to go after no, to go after Shadow, and that he will handle Robotnik. Sonic agrees, and Sonic dashes on forward across the water to deal with Shadow. However, with Tails on the other hand, Tails prepares to fight Robotnik in a glorious battle, and the two clash it out, with Tails using his intelligence. Robotnik claims that not only he is smart, but he's nowhere near as smart as him. And now that it's time that they finish their little battle, and that this is revenge for what he did during the events of Sonic 2, of the uh, events second film. However, Knuckles would come clashing in using the flames of disaster, breaking Eggman's badnecks completely and damaging his Eggmobile in the process. Knuckles would ultimately come in battling it out, ready to clash, stating that Tails is not alone, as the two break it out, with Robotnik claiming, you dishonourable freak, to which Knuckles says, this is how I roll. Shadow would be dashing towards Yang the Emerald away, but Sonic dashes into him, sending him crashing into the forest, causing it all to come crashing down. Sonic would have then immediately yell out Faker to Shadow, and this is where we get that iconic Faker line, as I think it would work quite well here, and it had to be included. And then Sonic and Shadow would clash it out in a glorious battle, fighting it out, for the Master Emerald. Meanwhile, the GUN officers would be overwhelmed by more badniks just everywhere, as a bunch of other badniks, who are secretly being controlled by Robotnik, as well as Stone, they end up placing a device in the water. Robotnik comes flying in and snatches the emeralds. However, just before he can actually escape, he notices that something is different. He turns around and he sees Tails, Amy and Knuckles ready to battle. Robotnik is proud to see them all, but he orders Stone to activate the security systems, to which they do, and Stone activates them, which causes both Tails and Knuckles and Amy, well, the smoke ends up blinding them as Robotnik makes a getaway. And Stone activates the device. Sonic and Shadow would clash more, with Sonic asking why on earth is Shadow working with Eggman after all of this, since he says he hates humans. To which immediately Shadow said that he's not trying to destroy the world that the humans must pay for what happened to his friend Maria. She was the only human that he ever liked. When he was born, everyone saw him as a weapon, but Maria saw him as, well, a friend. Someone who could be relied on. But Sonic reassures him that he's lost someone as well, and that he doesn't have to be alone, and that they can end this right now that he doesn't have to work for Robotnik, and that he can choose his own destiny. Shadow would consider this for a short moment, but he denies this, stating that he can't, and that his mind is already made up, and that this is who he is, and that everyone will pay for what they did. Every human on the planet will suffer. Before kicking in Sonic, knocking him out in the process. However, Shadow then gets a message from Robotnik telling him that he have the emeralds and that they're ready to make a getaway. Does he have the master emerald? Because he's planning on completely flooding the island. Sonic immediately gets all panicked as he knows that his friends are still on the island. Shadow dashes away, with Sonic dashing after him, as the two clash along the way, 
Shadow manages to jump up with, well, yeah. Shadow and Robotnik would be fighting off more of the bad note, fighting off more of the different guards as Shadow would dash on forward, blasting through all of them. Luckily, out of all of them, Tails, Amy and Knuckles managed to stand in the way, stopping Shadow from getting to Eggman. But Shadow quickly annihilates both Tails and Knuckles and barely attacks Amy. Shadow and Robotnik jump on through a warp ring. And well, the warp ring closes behind. And of course, Sonic would be dashing on, catching up with the group, battling some of the other badniks that remain behind that are still loyal to Dr. Robotnik. Sonic would of course notice that Tom is knocked out from the carnage and he would grab a warp ring and would throw it, avoiding everything that came into contact and he would push the entire group on through. Rockwell would tell Waters that it's time to go and it's time to get out. Waters agrees and him and Captain Randall all head up to the helicopter as the other GUN officers evacuate the entire base. However, what they don't know is that the helicopter is being piloted by Agent Stone. As the helicopter ends up making a getaway, as the helicopter leaves, a massive tsunami shows up, which catches everyone off guard. It completely floods the island, completely surrounding it, destroying nearly almost everything on there. As Waters watches on in fear, we would then cut back to Green Hills, as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and a very injured, knocked out Tom appear in the town. They head to, to Maddie's house, where they encounter Maddie. Maddie is honestly shocked that Sonic, that Tom, is badly injured. She would attempt to try and heal him, but she would say that she's just a vet and that. Well, she does have a test kit, but she'll see what she can do. As Tom is placed on the sofa and is seemingly knocked out from from what happened on the on what happened on the island, she only asks, "What happened on there?" Tom was knocked out in the process, and they explained, "Well, what happened?" And well. Amy explained that she saw it happen and that Shadow was the one who did it. This makes everyone annoyed and Sonic walks off. Amy notices this and follows after Sonic, hoping to maybe calm him down. And here Sonic would ultimately completely complain that he should have been there, he should have been there and that he wasn't fast enough to save Tom. But Amy tells him it's okay. And that they'll soon stop Shadow. It, it'll be all right. Robotnik returns to Gerald with Shadow and with all of the, mas with the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds. Gerald is impressed with Robotnik as he didn't think he could do it, but he is glad he was proved wrong. Robotnik states that it was all in a good day's work. Gerald would immediately look down below to see, well, the Master Emerald and all the other Chaos Emeralds, before turning to Robotnik and stating, ready to rule the world, grandson? Meanwhile, at the headquarters in London, Walters is incredibly annoyed the fact that he lost Prison Island Everything went horrible, and that, well, he now has to answer to his higher-ups about this. Just then, Walters, Randall, and Rockwell all notice some, well, moving in the ground. As the office begins to shake, they notice outside of the GUN headquarters, a mysterious shape is now emerging from the water, and that some kind of spacecraft appears flying upwards. Walters immediately suspects it's the Ark, and immediately calls an airstrike to fire on the Ark, 
and destroy it out of the sky. Jets fly on by and begin firing missiles at the Ark, but with the Master Emerald intact, the Ark is barely able, well the Ark creates a shield that stops all the missiles. In fact, it depowers them and destroys the planes that the pilots were firing. Luckily, the, pirate, the pilots were able to inject themselves out of their ships. Immediately, Gerald would look around and be happy with his work, before he would tell Robotnik to take a seat, as you ready to see something cool? Robotnik immediately nods and asks, what is it? To which Gerald would sit down and would pull some switches before activating one, before saying, hold on to your butts, it's gonna get a little weird. As he pulls the lever, Robotnik is amazed. He sees a white light bursting the area, creating an all sort of odd shapes. As, well, it all begins to metamorphosize really quick, and the entire station begins to change all around him. The colors begin changing, the atmosphere changes, until they appear in space. Robotnik is blown away by all of this, to which Gerald immediately laughs at this, telling him that he's always quite pleased to be pleased. But then he immediately says to, Ger to Robotnik, Now, you said a while ago that you had a score to settle with that commander, is that correct? To which Robotnik would reply that he does, and that he's ready to settle it. Operation Empire is in a go, as he comments it to Agent Stone. 